CSI 2140 Root Mode Multi Channel Measurements. My name is Johan van Pijnmiruk, and in this video tutorial, I will show you several options to collect multi channel measurements into the Root Mode. First of all, let's take a look to the database and the software, and I will explain you how to configure the database to take multi channel measurements in the Root Mode. So, in the Machinery Health Manager software, go to Database Setup, go to Tree Structure, and here is a list of machines that are already created in the RBM wizard. If I open the first machine, this is a normal machine with a structure as it's coming from the templates in the wizards. If you select machine level and you go to edit and you go to modify group channels you will see a screen that is showing that motor outboard horizontal and motor outboard peak view are already in the same group and they are at the same channel so they will be collected from a signal coming from one accelerometer this is the next group on your machine, this is the next group on the machine, and this is the next group on the machine, and so on. So, in this example, the peak view measurements will be taken always simultaneously with a horizontal mounting signal. Now, with the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer, we can do more advanced features and we can use more than two channels. So, those were the default settings coming out of RBM Wizard, but now let's take a closer look how we can improve it and use the four channel capabilities. So, in the second machine, it's a copy of the first machine, however, I've changed the grouping. So, select machine level, go to edit, go to modify group channel, and now you can combine up till four channels. If you're working with a triac sensor, group number 1 till 19 is reserved for triac configurations. Starting from group number 20 till 99, those are reserved for individual sensors. In this example, we are working with a triac sensor, so your first machine plane, motor 1 or motor outboard, receive everywhere channel group number 1. The next plane on your machine receive number 2. The next plane on your machine, for example, fan inboard, receive number 3. And the last plane on your machine, fan outboard, receive group number 4. Then inside the group, you have your mounting directions. Inside the triax, there are, of course, three accelerometers installed, one in horizontal, one in vertical, and one in axial direction. So for the channeling, you're simply doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is done. If you also want to use peak view, and this is an example of the same configuration, but now with peak view, go to edit, modify group channels and the structure is the same except that everywhere motor peak view has the same group info and it has the same channel info as your horizontal point that means the peak view measurement will be collected coming from your horizontal mounting direction now those two configurations are for trike sensors if you're working with four separate sensors, you can now measure, for example, motor outboard horizontal, motor outboard vertical, motor inboard horizontal, and motor outboard vertical simultaneously. So how to do the configuration? Go to Edit, Modify Group Channels, and as you see, because we are not working with triac sensors, but with separate sensors, the group number can start from 20 or 21. So I can measure four channels simultaneously. So motor outboard horizontal vertical, motor inboard horizontal vertical are in the same group. And your four points on the fan are in the following group. And for the channels, you simply configure them 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
if you also want to add peak view measurements on top of that you can do something special as you see here I have now six points in the same group and six points here the date collector is four channels so what will happen in reality he will collect out of those six points four points simultaneously and then automatically in a sequence the two additional measurements so you're limited till four channels simultaneously however if you configure more he will measure more with only starting the acquisition once so more or less it creates an illusion that he's even taking six measurements simultaneously all those settings were for roll element bearings however you can do similar things for sleeve bearings and here is an example of a sleeve bearing so for example the generator there are displacement probes installed I put them in the same group and here channel 1 2 3 4 so this is a database configuration we have sent those information to the analyzer and we will now take a look how it looks on the analyzer so I will start the machine so you may hear some additional noise and on the home screen of the analyzer I go to the root mode and now I'm in the first machine and the machine is a normal machine we are at motor outboard horizontal and it's grouped when I push enter you will see the following it's taking horizontal vertical and axial motor outboard simultaneously and after finishing that he jumps automatically to the inboard I collect data at the inboard and he measure horizontal vertical and axial simultaneously he jumps to the fan start measuring and he collect the three measurements simultaneously and the last plane fan outboard and your complete machine is done now I jump to the next machine is the same concept for tracks sensors but now peak view is activated as well so now you see four points peak view axial vertical and horizontal and after collecting data he jumps automatically to the next plane so you move your sensor to the next plane and you collect the four measurements there maybe you have already noticed that during the collection he's showing for the four points spectra and waveform simultaneously so you see during collection the eight plots And the triax machines are done now I move over to the machines where I have four sensors separate may I ask you to look to this here you also see the group and the channel information so I start acquisition and now he's measuring motor outboard and inboard horizontal and vertical simultaneously and that's already done so I move to the second component of the machine the fan I install the sensors and I start the acquisition and also here fan inboard and outboard horizontal and vertical simultaneously in the next machine I also added the peak view so now in every plane I have six points so how does it look on the analyzer you see four points are collected now and automatically the two remaining points are collected in a sequence and six measurements are done and it jumps in immediately to the next component and the machine is done now something similar but for sleeve bearings start 
and he has collected the data everywhere on the turbine then I go to the generator and I collect data here and it's already done in this tutorial I'm only showing how to collect the data for multi channels in other video tutorials there will be also explanation how to analyze already some data immediately on the analyzer we are now at the end of this video tutorial please visit our website at www.assetweb.com mhm for other video tutorials and product information my name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.